Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you glory. Men delegelevele. Yes, Lord. Hoba Shanda. Lega Valaga Lagado. Zebrende de Veleke de Vele. Imam Palondia. Hey, Jesus. Kevalaga Laga Lagado. Lebranda Dada Balagada. Imam Palondia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Regada Galagada. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ho, Basha. Mende Pelegele. Mapolian Talabado. Lebragada Galagada. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hey, come la gala 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 Imam Palondi Antalabado Lebre Zanderebe Oshata Ike Namama Yandi Oshata Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you tonight. Lord, we give you glory tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, my Lord, we glorify your name. Glorify your name. Lord, we glorify your name. Lord, we glorify your name. Take that solo control tonight over the atmosphere. Iman dele gala 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 gados. Lebron diata. Lord, we glorify your name. Father, we exalt your name. You alone deserve the glory. Melondi, You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Mahalagadagalagada. Take absolute control. Take absolute control. Take absolute control, Lord. For you alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. Handere Beosha. You alone are worthy. Mekalagalagalagados. Lebroni Atalabadai. And now, Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we give you glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we exalt your name. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we praise your holy name. We thank you for you are God and there is no other God beside you. There is no other king beside you. Before and after you, there is no God. We exalt your name for who you are. We praise your name this morning for who you are, for what you have done. Thank you, Father, for filling us with a spirit of boldness. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for filling us with a spirit of boldness. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, that you are causing the earth to favor our cause. Thank you, Lord, that you are causing the earth to favor our cause. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are causing the earth to favor our cause. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we exalt your name this morning. We praise your name this morning. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of every praise. You are worthy of every yes. You are worthy. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Holy Ghost. We exalt your name. We praise your name. Thank you for setting us apart for your glory. Thank you for setting us apart for your glory. Thank you for setting us apart for your glory. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for setting us apart for your glory. Make a laga laga dos anteliata. Ima paloniata la baga dos. Thank you for sending us apart, oh God, for your glory. In the name of Jesus, we exalt your name this morning. We praise your name, most holy spirit. Thank you for your sweet presence. Thank you for your sweet presence. Thank you for your sweet presence. Thank you for your sweet presence, Lord. Your presence is what we need. Thank you for your sweet presence this morning. Thank you for your sweet presence this morning. Thank you for your sweet presence tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your sweet presence tonight. Laga 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 dos. Iman pala diosata. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your sweet presence. Holy Ghost, we thank you for your sweet presence. Your presence is everything to us. Without your presence, we will not be where we are. We thank you for your sweet presence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we exalt your name. Lord, we praise your name. Holy Spirit, come take your place in our lives tonight. Come take your place in our life tonight. Come take your place in our lives tonight. Come take your place in our lives tonight. By the midnight oil, Holy Ghost, come take your place in our lives tonight. Angels of God, come take your place in our lives tonight. Maga laga 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 laga. Come take your place in our lives tonight. Come take your place in our life tonight. In the name. Jesus, come take your place. Come take your place in our family tonight. The seat is empty. Come feel the seat. The seat of our heart is open to welcome you, precious Holy Ghost. The seat to our soul. The seat to our heart. Come take your place, oh Lord Jesus. Come take your place, O oh Holy Ghost. Come take your place, presence of God. Mekalada dada mashata, rekendere bo sataya. Oh, mashanda la bakatosa. We give you glory. We exalt your name. We praise your name. For you alone are God. And there is no one like you. Yes, Lord, come take your place. Yes, Lord, come take your place. Yes, Lord, come take your place. We enthrone you tonight in our lives. We enthrone you tonight in our lives. We enthrone you tonight in our lives. Come take your place. In the name of Jesus. 
The Holy Ghost has a place in our life. Our precious Holy Ghost has a position in our life. Without the Holy Ghost, we are misplaced. Without the Holy Ghost, we are misplaced. As a matter of fact, somebody send that to me. Without the Holy Ghost, we are misplaced. Without our precious Holy Ghost, we are misplaced. You know, if I misplace this pen, it means I can see it, I can find it, I don't know where it is. It is out of my sight, it's out of my plan, it's out of my radius right now. And so without the Holy Ghost, we are misplaced. Thank you, minister. Without the Holy Ghost, we are misplaced. Thank you, Mother Suzette. Without the Holy Ghost, we are misplaced. That is one reason why we need the Holy Ghost. To keep us in place. So our precious Holy Ghost keeps us in place. Our precious Holy Ghost keeps us in place. Father, we pray tonight that you keep us in place. Womashata. We could be everywhere and we could be anywhere but here. But God chose us to be here tonight, wherever your here is. Without the Holy Ghost, we are misplaced. And with the Holy Ghost, with the guidance of the Holy Ghost, we are in place. Of course, we know that the Bible makes us understand that our bodies are temples of the Holy Ghost. We also know that the, our precious Holy Ghost is the voice of God. Our precious Holy Spirit has access to the heart of God. The Bible makes us understand that He searches the things that are on the heart of the Father. And so if this personality lives inside of me and he has access to the secrets of the father he searches the things that are on the heart of the father that makes that is it is so reassuring i mean it is so reassuring to know that inside of me is the possibility of the existence of a personality who has access to everything that is on the mind and on the heart of the Father. To the secrets and the deep things that are on the heart of the Father. I hope that makes sense tonight. It is encouraging, it is soothing to me tonight. To know and to understand. That there is a high possibility. That inside of me dwells a personality who has access to the deep things on the heart of the father the creator el elion jehovah shaman jehovah shalom there is it, bring, it excites me to know that there is a possibility that deep inside of me is the existence of a personality who has access to the heart of God and so I'm able to fellowship with this personality I'm able to go on a date with this personality our precious Holy Ghost and the more I date him the more I get to know him, the more I court him, 
the more I worship God through him and through Jesus, the more he reveals to me, the more he ministers to me, the more he makes me know who I am in him. Because who I am is already complete in God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning, He is the end. Before I was, He is. After I am, He is. And so He knew me before I came. Before I was made manifest on this earth, He knew. He knew the cause of my life. He knew the possibilities of my life. He knew that he knew and knows the path that has been placed before me. He knows the perfect will of God for my life. He knows, he knows, he knows. Magalagalagados. He knows the perfect will of God for my life. He knows the perfect will of God for your life. He knows which way to turn even when we are lost. And so who would be a better person to commune with than God through our precious Holy Ghost and Jesus Christ? Thank you for that scripture, Tamika. He says, Thou knowest thy sitting and my my sitting and my uprising thou understandest my thoughts afar off thou compassest my path my lying down and i acquainted with all my ways oh lord ah. For there is not a word in my tongue. But lo, O oh Lord, thou knowest it all together. Everything in my mouth, in my heart, he knows. Every detail of my destiny, he knows. I'm going somewhere with this tonight. Every detail of our destiny, he knows. What are we struggling with tonight? every detail of our destiny he knows thou has beset me behind and before and lay thy hand upon me such knowledge knowing this king david said is too wonderful for me mm. it is so high it is so high i cannot attain unto it this is so wonderful for me. It is so wonderful, Lord. It is so wonderful for me. It is so wonderful. I cannot imagine. I can only, I can, uh, anytime I think about it, Lord, it amazes me to know that there is someone somewhere and there is a personality also inside of me who knew me before I became me, who knows my end from today, who knows where I go. Lord, Lord, we glorify your name tonight. Lord, we exalt your name tonight. You are wonderful, Lord. You are glorious, Lord. There is no king like you. There is no God like you. Receive our praise tonight. Receive our praise tonight. And so, Lord, we kalabashata. We pray tonight that you have your way in our life. You have your way in our life. King David said, where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend up into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of my morning 
and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there shall thy hand lead me. I want you to type, I cannot get lost. I cannot get lost. I cannot get lost. In God, I cannot get lost. I cannot get lost. Hey! My, yeah, 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 yeah. King David said, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, the morning has wings. That is why we gather together at midnight to speak into the new day, to pray over our days, to take authority, dominion, and power over our days. What when we do so, we are speaking into the wings of the morning and into the womb of the day, so that throughout the day, the words, the declarations that we made begin to soar during the day. So our days become bright with the words that we speak into it. And so the Lord speaks to Job and he says, Has thou commanded thy morning? Have you commanded the wing of your morning? You want to see some stuff in your life. Have you spoken to the womb of the day? Have you spoken to the wing of the day of the morning? If I take the wings of the morning and dwell, if I fly, if I soar on the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, Lord, even there, thy hand lead me. Thy hand shall lead me. Even there shall thy hand lead me. Lead me, Lord. When I'm wrong, lead me. In the darkest place of my life, lead me. I cannot get lost. Because I'm in you, Lord, I understand I cannot get lost. And thy right hand shall hold me. I'm reading Psalm 139. If I say, darkness, surely the darkness shall cover me. Even the night shall be light about me. I decree and I declare this morning in the name of Jesus. That every darkness is becoming light about us. Every darkness is becoming light around us. Any form of darkness is being invaded by the light of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let the light of God come past at us. Let the light of God surround us. Let the light of God shine in our life. In this ministry, let the light of God shine. In, my, in the purpose of God for our lives, let the light of God shine. Upon the prayer leaders, let the light of God shine. Upon the partners of this ministry, let the light of God shine in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God we need your light tonight oh God let your light shine in our life in the name of Jesus let your light shine in my family let your light of excellence your light of breakthrough your light of revival your light of success your light of glory your light of blessing heavenly father let it shine upon us in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. If I say, surely darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yeah, the darkness hides not from thee, nor the night. But the night shines as day, and the darkness as the light above. Hear me, there is no light, there is no darkness in God. There is no darkness in God. 
I'm trying to get your mind somewhere that it might not have been in a long time. I'm trying to get your mind somewhere that I believe might, maybe, maybe your mind has not gone there in a long time. Did you know that when God looks at darkness, he sees light? The Bible says in Psalm 139, verse 12, Yeah, the darkness hides not from thee, but the night, the night shineth as the day, and the darkness as the light are both alike to thee. Mandagalagalagalagados. It is my prayer tonight that any form of darkness in our life this day disappears by the appearance of the light of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Man of God, what is darkness? Before we even talk about darkness, let's dive into the purpose of God. The perfect will of God. God wants you and I in his perfect will. In the will of God. If I find myself in the will of God. I am led by the spirit in the will of God. In the will of God there is provision. In the perfect will of God there is provision. In the perfect will of God, there is provision. In the perfect will of God, there is protection. In the perfect will of God, there is protection. In the perfect will of God, there is reward. The Bible says you need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you receive what he has promised. The Bible says, do not get weary in well-doing, for in due season ye shall reap if you faint not. In the perfect will of God, there is reward. There is strength in the perfect will of God. The Bible says that as your days are, so shall your strength be. God empowers you on the path that he has placed before you. The Bible says the Lord works out everything to its proper end. Even the wicked for a day of disaster. If I find myself in the perfect will of God. If I find myself in the perfect will of God. I am rest assured. That everything that God has said concerning my life will come to pass. It's only a matter of time until I see a manifestation. The Lord works out everything to its proper end. Even the wicked for a day of disaster. Don't you worry. The reward of the wicked is coming. The day is coming where the wicked also shall be rewarded. Jesus told, gave a parable. A sower soul sees, went to sleep, woke up the following day, and the question arose. Somebody had sown tasks among the wheat. They asked the master, what shall we do? And the master said, don't you unplug it, don't do nothing. Just wait until harvest time. For in during harvest time, we will separate the chaff. We will separate the chaff from the wheat. Hear me. Harvest time is just around the corner. Where the wicked shall be rewarded. And where we also shall be rewarded. Lord, lead us in your perfect will. Lord, place us in your perfect will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. 
In the perfect will, our path shines. In the perfect will of God, our path shines. In the perfect will of God, our path shines. The Bible declares that, and the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Because his word is like a lamp unto our feet. When we walk in the perfect will of God, his word directs us. Because we walk in his perfect will, God directs us with his word. He directs us with his word, which is light. And so our light, be, our path becomes so bright. The Bible says, but the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn that shines brighter and brighter until the full day. Other version says, until the perfect day. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is like darkness. It is my prayer today in the name of Jesus that God will place us in the path of righteousness, a path of perfection. A path of perfection, a pure path, a path where we will not question him and question his existence and question his ways. When we find ourselves in, in the perfect will of God, we become blameless. So that you may be blameless and pure. Children of God without fault in a, in a crooked and perverse generation. You walk in a perverse generation but yet you have no faults. In which you shine as lights in the world. Philippians chapter 2 verse 15. So that you may be blameless and pure. Children of God. It is my prayer that we are becoming blameless and pure. It is my prayer that we are becoming blameless and pure. It is my prayer and declaration that we are becoming blameless and pure. In the name of Jesus, in a perverse generation, we are becoming blameless and pure. Without fault. When the enemy comes looking for fault by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus, he will find no fault. In the name of Jesus, blameless. Pure. No crookedness in us that our light will shine in the world. Gala 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 mandiata. Lebron di katoliata lagana. Zelege lege lege lege. Bible says your life will be brighter than noonday. Your life will be brighter than noonday. Your life will be brighter than noonday. I declare that your life will be brighter than noonday. I declare from tonight our life is becoming brighter than noonday. In the name of Jesus, according to Job chapter 11 verse 16. I declare that our life is becoming brighter than noonday. I speak upon the wings of the morning. I speak into the womb of the day. And I declare that because we are moving into the perfect will of God, our life is becoming brighter than noonday. In the name of Jesus, our life is becoming brighter than noonday. Without blemish, light without blemish, bright without blemish. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the, the living God. I decree and I declare 
In the name of Jesus, sicknesses and diseases are leaving the bodies of the people of God tonight. And our life is becoming brighter than noonday. I want you to go ahead and share this video tonight. Share it and just type shared. So we register you as shared. We know you are sh you've shared it. Share this video tonight and type share. The will of God is very important. Thank you all for sharing. Those of you who are still sharing, thank you. And those inviting your followers, thank you. The will of God is so important. The perfect will of God is so important. That when Jesus is asked to teach the people how to pray. One of the things he says is that let thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Let thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. The will of God is important. So precious. Lord let your will be done in our life. Here on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will be done in my life, in my family, as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Somebody on Facebook said, invited. I don't know how you invite people on Facebook. But let your will be done. On earth I see this in heaven now catch this revelation we are representatives of God heaven here on earth the book of our life is written in the archives of heaven God bless you all for joining us in the archives of heaven are things concerning us bible says in the volumes of the book it is written of me in the volumes of the book it is written of you and i and so when we pray that the will of god for our lives be done here on earth as it is in heaven we are saying lord whatever you have said in heaven concerning me whatever heaven says about me this day lord let it come to pass in my life heaven calls me blessed let me be blessed on earth heaven calls me righteous let me be righteous on earth heaven calls me holy pure let me be holy and pure heaven calls me fruitful let me be fruitful on earth in the name of jesus whatever is on heaven's mind concerning my life in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god let it be made manifest here on earth anything on the mind of heaven on the calendar of heaven concerning my business concerning my career concerning my ministry Lord let it be downloaded in the name of Jesus into manifestation let thy will be done when Jesus was asked Lord teach us how to pray one of the things he said so when you pray you say this you say that in verse 10 he says your kingdom come your will be done your will be done comma on earth I said this in heaven. Now watch this. Now many people say, well, it's the same. Uh, it's one sentence. Yeah, your he was referring to he was referring to the kingdom when he said your will be done. Now he says, Your will, your kingdom come, comma, your will be done, comma, on earth as it is in heaven. Megalagalagadia. There is a will, there is there is something that God desires that you and I do, and something that God desires that you and I become. I decree and I declare tonight by the grace of God, by the mercy of God, by the strength of heaven, in the name of Jesus, our lives are being translated into the perfect 
pl perfect plan of God for our lives. Our lives have been translate, transformed into what God wants it to be. In the name of Jesus, no longer shall we, shall we, uh, uh, shall we pursue try and error events. No longer shall we, shall we walk on 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 sure path. No longer shall we enter into unsure businesses. I decree and I declare from this day forward, everything we do is sure because God is leading us into his perfect will. Because our precious Holy Ghost is leading us into his perfect will. I decree and I declare we will apply for the right jobs. We will bid on the right contracts. We will start the right businesses. We will go into the right kind of ministry with the right kind of attitude in the right place with the right kind of mindset with the right people. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I decree and I declare from today everything about our life is becoming right according to the plan of God, according to the will of God, because we are in the will, perfect will of God for our life. Lord, let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in my life. Megele gala 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 gados. Let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in my life, O God. I desire your perfect will. Many are confused on what you want us to do. Lord, let your will be done in our lives. Many people are confused about which way to turn. Lord, let your perfect will be done in our lives. Hey, Kabbalah Osha, Holy Ghost, come take your place and let your perfect will be done in the lives of your people tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we desire your perfect will. Lord, we desire your perfect will. Holy Spirit, we desire your perfect will tonight. In the name of Jesus, don't only reveal it to us, place us in your perfect will. In the name of Jesus, place us in your perfect will. Place us in your perfect will. In the mighty name of Jesus, fix us and put us in your perfect will. Lord, I want to be in your perfect will. Magalagalagadagalagados. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says. In Luke chapter 9 verse 23. Then he said to them all. Whoever wants to be my disciple. Must deny themselves. Take up their cross daily and follow me. One key to success. Is to seek in God. Is to seek God first. The Bible makes us understand in the book of Matthew chapter 6. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. It's true. The Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 1 that this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate upon it day and night. Then thou shalt observe to do that which is written therein. Then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then thou shalt have good success. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. The will of God. Perfect will. It is my prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. That God will lead us into his perfect will. That God will place us in his perfect will. In the name of Jesus. He says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. God has plans for you and I. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me. If 
even the night shall be light about me. In the perfect will of God, there is no darkness. Sometimes you go through stuff. We call it long suffering. You go through so much. You go through so much. And everyone else is... Everyone else pity you. They begin to question your calling. They begin to question your existence. They begin to question as to whether you are in the perfect will of God. And why things happen to you. They did the same to Job. The same thing happened to many people of old. They were questioned. Are you really of God? On the, in the perfect will of God. You encounter challenges. But God promises. That he will deliver us from them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him from them all. But there is one thing for sure about the perfect will of God. It is your reward. It will not be denied. The Bible says if you faint not. It is my prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. That God will change our taste, our desires. That we will begin to desire what he wants us to des desire. That we will begin to look up to him and look at things that he wants us to look at to look at he will begin i pray in the name of jesus tonight that god will begin to give us ideas that will lead us to his perfect will in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god that god will create in us a fresh spirit a brand new spirit and he'll give us a heart after his own heart a heart that will lead us into the perfect will It is my prayer in the name of Jesus that anything that stands in the way that tries to hinder us, that tries to hinder us tonight be destroyed, be removed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, I decree and I declare tonight in the mighty name of Jesus that no evil shall be for us this day. I declare in the name of Jesus that no weapon that is formed against us this day shall prosper. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that as we sleep tonight, the portals of our dreams are open to only good dreams from heaven, from God. I pray in the name of Jesus that any door through which the enemy comes is shut the door through which the enemy came is shut and any evil force around us in the body of anyone tonight i decree and i declare in the name of jesus your liberty be free from that evil force be set free from that evil presence in the name of jesus we lose ourselves we lose our families from any work of the devil in the name of Jesus, I declare divine liberation tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I declare tonight, this day, you have been made whole. Our family members are receiving their healing even right now because of the blood. I decree and I declare affliction shall not arise a second time. I bind every spirit of fear. I come against evil uncertainties. We cancel by the blood of the Lamb. We cancel accidents. We cancel the plots of the enemy. Against that business. Against that business. Against that business. The enemy desires to bring accident. The enemy desires to bring bad news to that family. To your husband. But I, I decree and I declare tonight it is canceled by the blood. I declare businesses are flourishing. I declare the health of the people of God are flourishing. I declare we are blessed. We are highly favored. In the name of Jesus, let the wing of the morning bring us good news. Let the womb of the day give birth to good news this day. In the name of Jesus, 
We blind the eyes of monitoring agents and monitoring spirits in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against any monitoring agent, any monitoring spirit in Jesus' name. And now let the healing virtues of the blood of Jesus be activated over our lives, over our families. In the name of Jesus, let the healing virtues of the blood visit our families tonight. By the healing virtues of the blood of Jesus, I declare healing over your life, healing over our bodies, healing over our family members. In the name of Jesus, spirit of affliction. Spirit of affliction, loose the people of God, let them go. Spirit of bondage, loose the people of God, let them go. We declare we are being set free tonight. We declare our path has been cleared tonight by the word of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, we pray that you provide for us good news this day and lead us not into temptation this day. Deliver us from every evil this day. Deliver us from every evil this day. Make our lives better as we enter into this new day. In the name of Jesus. Cause our lives to become better. Give us great ideas on how to become better. Multi-million dollar ideas. Multi-billion dollar ideas. Ideas on how to win souls. Ideas on how to please you in this generation. Ideas on how to lead people to you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Thank you for a fresh unction of the Holy Ghost. We give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, very quickly, if you have your communion, I want you to lift it. If you've been joining us for the past few days, every day, as much as we can, we pray over communion, the body and blood of Christ. So wherever you are, grab a symbol that represents the body of Christ, bread, cracker, cookie, something. And if you have not shared this video, share it. I believe we believe in the blood of Jesus. We believe in the body of Christ. We believe in the power of communion. We believe Jesus said, do this as often as you can. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we lift the bread tonight that symbolizes the body of Christ, I pray, oh God, that you change it into the body of Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said, do this as often as we can. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. According to your word that says that as of, when we do this, Jesus will come live in us and we will live in him. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus over this body and over the blood of Christ. As we partake in this communion, let Jesus come live in us. Let the wisdom of Jesus come dwell in us. Let the plans that Jesus has for us and heaven have for us, Lord, be unveiled and revealed to us. Illuminate our minds. In the name of Jesus, illuminate our minds. In the name of Jesus, let wisdom come dwell in us. Oh God, tonight as we partake in the body of Christ, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Just as there was no sickness in the body of Jesus, let no sickness be able to survive in us. Just as there was no disease in the blood of Jesus, let no disease be able to dwell in us. In the name of Jesus, just as Jesus was led by the Spirit at all times, we pray that we will also be led by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, as we break the bread, the Bible says he took it and broke it. As we break the body, the bread, which represents the body, I pray in the name of Jesus, let every curse be broken. Let every evil cycle be broken. Cycle of accidents be broken. Cycle of evil be broken. Cycle of divorce be broken. Cycle of failure be broken. Cycle of uncertainties be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. 
in Jesus' name. Now place the bread down. Don't take it yet. Now, Father, we lift up the cup, which represents the blood of Christ before you. I pray that you change it into the blood, the blood of Christ. Father, the Bible says by his stripes we are healed. I pray in the name of Jesus as we consume this blood tonight. Let healing visit our families. Let healing visit the bodies of your people. Let the healing virtues of the blood be released into the body of the people. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I declare tonight, by the blood of the Lamb, we are healed. We are made whole in the name of Jesus. Now when Jesus was on the cross, a soldier pierced his side. Fluid came out of his side, caused his eye, the eyes of the soldier, to be blinded. It is my prayer tonight. In the name of Jesus, this same blood of Jesus that ran through the body of the veins of Jesus, may this blood, the same thing that blinded the eye of that soldier, I pray in the name of Jesus tonight, let this same blood blind the eyes of every monitoring agent, those who monitor our movement, those spirits that monitor us, those spirits that monitor us, that right before breakthrough, right at the verge of success, right at the verge of escalation, right at the verge of increase and promotion and healing on, and breakthrough, right at the verge, they step in and destroy. We pray in the name of Jesus, let them be blinded. Let them be blinded. Let them be cut off. Let them be uprooted. Let them be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Let their works be shattered in pieces by the blood of Jesus. As we partake in this blood, the Bible says, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. We pray tonight, O God, in the name of Jesus, that you, par you cause the wicked one, the plus of the enemy, accidents, evil, to pass over us, our houses, our families. Let premature death pass over us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, as we drink the blood of Christ, let the same spirit that was in Jesus come in us. The same boldness, faith, grace that was upon Jesus come upon us in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you tonight. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for the spirit of faith, spirit of love. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, spirit of wisdom that is coming upon us as we drink this blood. Thank you for the spirit of understanding, the fear of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise. Holy Spirit, we welcome you tonight. We embrace you. We love you. You are God. Yes, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, this is what I want you to do. Listen to the prophetic instructions, okay? At the end of this, I, I don't want you to consume your communion right now. Just wait at the end. If there is anyone sick, I lift up the communion. If there is anyone sick, Father, as they drink this, let them receive healing instantly. Anyone waiting for a breakthrough, as, they, as we drink this, Father, let, that, let, 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 the, let us break through. Direction, let us receive it. In Jesus' name. Mark us for success as we drink the blood tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you have not shared this video, I want you to share it. Listen to me. Share this video tonight. Somebody's healing is tied to this video. Somebody's breakthrough and liberation is tied to this video. I want you to share this video tonight. Share it quickly. Share it on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter. Invite your followers if you can on school. Do this quickly. Do this quickly. Somebody's deliverance, healing. Is tied to this as we drink the body and blood of Christ tonight. Deliverance is coming upon the house of somebody in Jesus' name. Maybe your family members are not partaking in this, but hear me the fact that we do it is good enough. We are using our bodies as point of contact for our family members in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Don't drink it yet, don't eat it yet. Now, hear me on the 25th and the 26th of May. The month of May, the 25, 26, we are all gathering together at Arlington, Virginia. Arlington, Virginia. We are gathering together at Arlington, Virginia, at the Hyatt Regency Hotel. Hyatt Regency at, the, at Crystal City. Crystal City Hotel uh, by the Reagan National Airport. By the Reagan National Airport. DCA is the airport code. This hotel is a few miles from the White House. It is, it is in a prime location. It's a few miles from the White House. 
a very great location. Good news is that the 25th and the 26th of May is also the Memorial Day weekend. And so those of, many of you can fly in with your families. You can fly in with your families and experience the Washington DC area, take a tour to the White House. I mean, visit, uh, you know, Arlington uh, National Cemetery. And those of y'all who like the cemetery, um, those who be quiet on the prayer network, they be quiet like a cemetery sometimes, some folks. So, you know, y'all just visit, visit if, if you like the cemetery. I'm trying to get my joke out, but it's not coming out right. But if you like the I mean, if, if, if you've never been to uh, Washington, D.C., take advantage of this gathering. We call it the prayer and worship experience. The prayer and worship experience is on Friday and Saturday. Friday night at 7 p.m. Saturday morning, we gather together again for just two hours. And then afterwards, I'll do a two-hour training for only registrants. registrants. You register on site for that one, for that just that two-hour training session. And then Saturday evening, we gather together again. It's going to be powerful, mind-blowing. So during the day on Saturday, you can go out and experience the town and uh, the, the cities and state. You can experience two different states in one day, Virginia and Washington, D.C., and maybe three, and Maryland as well, if you choose to. You know, same location. It's just right there. And But, but most importantly, I want you to mark your calendar, the 25th and the 26th of May in Arlington, Virginia. It is going to be powerful. The DMV area, there you go. If you live in Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, uh, Delaware, if you live in Baltimore, I mean, if you live in uh, New York, New Jersey, uh, make your way, Pennsylvania, make your way down. Let us celebrate God together. You can drive from West Virginia. Come on in. You Wherever you are, fly in. If you're flying in, there is a shuttle from the airport to the hotel. If you're flying into DCA, there's a shuttle from the airport to the hotel. If you're coming by bus to the central station, there is a shuttle from the sh central station to the hotel. And so you don't have to, you know, spend so much on, uh, what's it called? On taxi and Uber and all that stuff. Or even rent any hotel. I mean, rent any vehicle. Just come on right in. Uh, it is going to be powerful and it's my prayer tonight that as we partake in the blood and body of Christ, any attack against anyone attending this event will be cancelled. Any plot of the wicked against this gathering will be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Mark your calendar. Get your tickets in advance. Of course, it is you know a holiday weekend so you want to get your tickets in advance do your hotel reservation in advance may god bless you may god preserve you i need five people to put the website up for me tonight now i want you to get on the website if you have a testimony get on the website if you have a testimony get on the website tonight if you have a testimony if you're watching on youtube the website is v-i-n-c-e-n-t k-p-o-d-o dot com V I N C E N T K P O D O dot org. V I N C E N T K P O D O dot com. V I N C E N T K P O D O dot org. All right, that is the website. Share your testimony on that website. Share your testimony on that website. If you are led to sow, you may do so. This, of course, is good ground. If you're not a partner, I encourage you become a partner. Go on dot com. Click on partnership. Become a partner. God bless you. Anyone know the website? The website is vincentkpodio.com. All right. Click on the website. I mean, click on partnership. Become a partner. Click on partnership. Become a partner. Become a partner. I'm pray we are praying for the partners daily. We are praying for the partners daily. We started receiving testimonies about those from those who have partnered with us with us. Uh, uh, by the grace of God, the lives of people are being transformed tremendously just by mere partnership. What you do, we call you, we call our partners covenant partners. That means when you partner with us, you have co we covenant with you. And in this covenant, we say that we are praying for you daily. 
We are going to pray for you daily and believe God for supernatural blessings over your life and in your life. I'm excited about where we are going. I'm excited about what God is doing. There is greater ahead. The work is big. The work is huge. You have, you cannot afford not to be in the presence of God. You cannot afford not to be in the presence and the perfect will of God in this season. Stay in the will of God and watch God bless you and transform your life. Become a partner and watch God bless you. May God preserve you and favor you. May God increase you. May God cause his face to shine upon you. I love you so much. My name is Prophet Vincent. I'm out of your way. Now you may partake in the body and blood of Christ. God bless you. Shalom. I hear rain, y'all. I hear the sound of rain. I hear the sound of blessing. I hear the sound of blessing. God bless you. Shalom. Kandaraba City, Mendoz, Prayer Network. God bless you. May God favor you. Halababasha. Yes, Lord. Make a legi legi. Lord, make us a house of prayer. If you have not shared it, I want you to share it. May go lagalaga sata. Menderebe usata. Hear me, if you have any gift, if you have any gift that you want to serve us, that the ministry with, I want you to send an email. Maybe you're a graphic designer. Well, not, uh, but God has blessed us with some, with a, with, with great, with a great, 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 and I'm so grateful. Great mind blowing graphic. Uh, I don't. I don't even call them graphic designers. I call them graphic engineers. Powerful. I mean, mind blowing, lovely, great people who do it. And so I'm very grateful. But if you're a web designer, web designer, if you're a web designer, I want you and you want to serve this ministry. You know, God encourages us. The Bible encourages us to serve with our gifts. So if you want to serve the ministry with your gift. You can, whatever you can do, whatever you do, just send an email. Send an email. Say, hey, prophet, I can do this. What you think I, we can do with what I got? This is what I got. I'm bringing it to the table. I'm bringing my gift to the table. Bringing prayer to the table. Bring yours. Let's work together. Hallelujah. I love you so much. Send an email. The email address is prayingprophet01 at yahoo.com. The email address is prayingprophet01 at yahoo.com. Yes, Lord. God bless you. Prayingprophet01 at yahoo.com. I love y'all. Shalom. Kebalagados. Yes, Lord. Make me a house of prayer, Lord. Make me a house of prayer, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of my altar never burn out. In the name of Jesus. As we partake in this communion, let the fire of our altar never burn out. Run out. In Jesus' name. Shalom. May the fire.